I'm going to show you how to add in page numbers into Microsoft Excel. Now, Excel is not the same as Word, where everything is split up into pages like you would normally see. However, when you go to print things, you are going to see them showing up in pages, as we see when we click on Page Layout. When we click on Page Layout under the View tab, we see how everything is going to fit on the paper size that you had selected. Now, the default size where I'm in is 8.5 by 11, but you might see a different size. And you can certainly change that when you go into File, Print, and you can change the size of the paper, and then the pages will be different sizes as well. So we can click on Letter and choose any one of these other options, and that will change the page numbers. Now, while we're in under View and in Page Layout, we can click on Add Header, and from here we can click on Design. While we're in here, we can click on Page Numbers. So there we go, we're on page one. And we see page one. And when we fill in data, we now see page two. And even though when we click on normal view, I'm gonna go back to view and normal, we can see how this looks here. We don't really see page one and page two, we just see the data. Now, there is this page break that we see here. And that page break does represent what page numbers are going to be. And that was not there before until we added in the page numbers. So once again, if we wanna go back and see what that looks like, go back to page layout. And now we can see page one, page two. And if we add data into page three, it'll do that as well. And if you want to change the way the page numbers look, then you can go here and change in the size if you'd like, and you can change the font as well. And now we see it's a different font, different size. You can also change the color and add a highlight. So that's how you insert and manipulate page numbers in Microsoft Excel.